much as you like comedy, now coming to the stage, Mr. Eric Matthew. <laughs> doing? Uh, again, my name is Eric Matthey. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm extremely competitive. I hate to lose. My kids still haven't found any Easter eggs. <laughs> and they won't. I promise you they won't. Because the Easter Bunny, he sent his teenage pothead son to my house this year. He knows all the best hiding places. <laughs> But my wife asked me, why are you so proud of the fact that you maliciously, yet successfully, have hidden the Easter eggs from your two-year-old and your four-year-old for this long? I said, well, it's not really about the kids. Your basket's like an empty two, and you're pushing 40. Soon. Pro tip for any newlyweds out there. There is not a scenario in which telling your wife she's pushing 40 is going to go over well. I don't care what it is, age, waistline, IQ, dumbbell press, it doesn't matter. That's not a number one. Don't do it. Just don't say those words. What else about me? I'm a mouth breather. Probably already tell that. But not in a derogatory way. I feel like I'm a relatively smart guy. I just literally breathe through my mouth 95% of my day. My nose is probably one of the most underutilized features of my face. Yeah. Second to my ears, of course, because, well, I can't hear the future. <laughs> Being sexy as a mouth breather is difficult. <laughs> Tried to spice things up in the bedroom one time. It's a complete disaster. We live in the golden age of technology. You would think by now we would have a more breathable ball gag. <laughs> Looks so good at a level too. <laughs> but being a mouth breather has programmed me to be a risk taker. I stare danger in the face every single day. I do. I put my life on the line with every passionate kiss, every gurgle of mouthwash. And especially every long drink from one of those silly twisty straws. Heck, I've seen my life flash before my eyes eating a peanut butter sandwich too fast. But finally, as a mouth breather, I just have to accept that cocaine is not going to be my drug of choice. <laughs> And it's a real bummer, too, because the only lines the glass coffee table at my house sees are the ones my kids draw on. Thank you, everybody. <laughs>